Hi, I'm Rick Stafford. I'm a professor at Carnegie Mellon, and I'm really excited to be part of today. I've been to a number of P4s, but the reason I'm really excited is because my principal qualifications are not professor, but I grew up here, and my, I spent my entire life here, and when you want to talk about people and place, and you're talking about the Pittsburgh region, I'm really excited. I grew up in Greene County, Veronica, so uh, I was the one person that held up uh, his hand for every question you ask, uh, including being married to a coal miner's daughter. The first thing I want to do is introduce someone, uh, or credit someone who isn't to be introduced, and that's Donna Evans. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for all the emails that she would send at night instructing you how to be here, and neither would any of the other speakers. Grant owes it all to Donna. Um, <clears throat> now, now I owe her an apology. She sent me all these notes that I was supposed to use, and I did print them out, and then I left them at home. So I've reconstructed a few notes. I'll make it short, which is unusual for me, but the first thing I want to remind you of is what this session is entitled, and it's performance, in case you're not looking at your program, Future City Building Innovation, Innovative and Inclusive Economies. Um, for me, the last eight years or so at Carnegie Mellon have been all involved in people, technology, and policy. And, um, as Rob Stephanie, who's probably out there some, somewhere, uh, keeps reminding me, the real challenge is about equity. The measure of performance should be no one gets left behind. And uh, we've seen that in this region, by the way, as technology has influenced things as simple as coal mining and what that meant for those jobs. Um, so it's really kind of cool that we have uh, the set of speakers we have to address this issue. And I'm going to, again, go with my notes a little bit since I don't have uh, the printouts. But the first one to uh, take the stage is Red Whitaker. Red is a professor at Carnegie Mellon. He's a real, the real thing. Um, and uh, uh, I, first got, <laughs> I first got to know Red um, because I was involved at an earlier part of my life with a, a um, problem, a technology problem called Three Mile Island. And uh, I happened to be very involved in raising the money for Three Mile Island, and Red spent that money uh, developing robotic solutions to the cleanup of Three Mile Island. And w <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> and. One of the things you may not realize is that that was one of the early things that put Carnegie Mellon, Pittsburgh, and robotics on the world map. So that's one of Red's accomplishments. Another one of his accomplishments is right outside our door here. Um, that's the Tartan racing car. We finally call it Boss at Carnegie Mellon. And Red led the team that really was the dawn in many ways of autonomous vehicle technology. Um, it's not over, by the way, <laughs> we don't, but that was the first time uh, that a team of technologists was able to demonstrate uh, that technology. And uh, needless to say, it's taken off and he's still involved, of course. The last thing I wanna say is kind of a personal thing. Um, one of the credentials I have for place is I have a farm and so does Red. We're both in Somerset County. He's at the opposite end that I am. But he farms robotically, and I farm a different way. But uh, I, I've always been jealous of that. Following Red uh, is Jennifer Bradley. She started early as an environmental lawyer, um, went to Brookings. Uh, we met for the first time today. And of course, uh, as you probably know from the program, she heads the Center for Urban Innovation at the Aspen Institute now. She is wrestling with many of the people, technology, and policy issues that I think are at the forefront of today. Um, she uh, also, one credential, this is her first time in Pittsburgh. She's very impressed, uh, as I understand her, uh, and uh, both with our 
place and our people. So uh, wel welcome her. And also, she's the co-author of a book that was a very important uh, piece of contribution from the Brookings Institute, co-authored with our next guy, namely um, Metropolitan Revolution. And of course, that next person and last speaker is going to be Bruce Katz. Bruce, of course, is well known and synonymous with the Brookings Institute, but what you need to know is he's no longer there. He is paired up with a, a very uh, impressive fellow from Philadelphia named Jerry Nowak, and uh, they have established um, a new um, advisory group called the New Localism Advisory uh, Advisors, and uh, I. Uh, just happened to bring a copy of his book. I would have bought it, but apparently the Heinz Endowment has made it available to all of us for free.